Hi, everyone. Aksana here. Let me know that you can see me, that you can hear me. And if you're new to our group, welcome to our group. So my sister and I, those of you that are known, we specialize in help, helping people reverse autoimmune diseases. So if you go into the unit section in this group, you'll see some of the education that we have provided for you to help you understand about the immune system and what it actually takes to reverse it. So when it's done right, then your body can repair itself. And what we focus when we help people reverse autoimmunity is we teach them how to optimize the immune system so it stops producing all the inflammation in the body. So thanks Lillian for joining. And that's what I want to talk about, um, how we help people, but as well as if you're new to this group, say hi to us, let us know what is it you need help with, how we can help you to recover from autoimmunity where doctors haven't been able to help people with that. So first of all, I want to talk about one of our clients, Shayla, she's a nurse and she works 14 hour shifts. So a lot of people ask us, I'm really busy. I have three kids. I work full time. Can I still do your program? Can I still work with you on my autoimmune recovery? Absolutely. So our current client, Sheila, she's a nurse and she was diagnosed with Sjogren's and she, and she works 13 hours a day. And on day 23, she reported that her arthritis pain on her fingers, which limited her competency as a pulmonology and gastroenterology RN. So she's a registered nurse. And in the last several months, I'm now completely gone. So her arthritis in her fingers is completely gone on day 23 working with us. And she went back to her regular work on the floor in the last two days after being on sick leave for five weeks because she's been sick with autoimmune disease. She's actually able to go back to work and work full time as a nurse now again. And she described basically the kind of progress that she has made so far in 23 days of us working together. So her arthritis symptoms are gone and she's reversing Sjogren's and arthritis in our program. And so, yes, you can still work with us, even if you work full time, even if you have children, we can still find a way for you to go through your recovery. And one of our current clients who's finishing the program, so we have an opening in a program right now because two clients are finishing the program. If you need a help, if you've been waiting to work with us, now is the time to start. In October, we are not going to be taking clients. So if you want to join, you, you join, start now because it's a 40 day program. You want to start now and you finish. And another client who just finished the program, she was diagnosed with gastritis, arthritis, and lymphocytic esophagitis. So she has inflammation in her esophagus. There's autoimmune inflammation that's causing her a lot of symptoms, acid reflux, esophageal pain. So she just went back to her doctor in 40 days. Her gastritis is gone. Her esophagitis is no longer detectable. And her RF factor was 14, and now it's less than 10. And that's within 40 days. So that's the progress that she made. So let me see if you have any comments, let us know. Hi, Molly. Good to see you. And, okay. So that's what I wanted to share with you. So you can see how, when you do the process, right, when you reverse your autoimmune disease the right way, you should be seeing progress within two to four weeks. And if you're not seeing progress and reversal of your symptoms, then you're doing something wrong and just don't know it. I feel like my, my nose is itching. <laughs> I don't know why my nose is itching. Maybe it's my hair. It's making so another thing I want to talk about is why autoimmune diseases are considered incurable. Because when someone takes a pill and gets better, they consider it as a cure, right? You're taking a pill for something, that's the only way it can be considered a cure. So when someone changes their diet or lifestyle and gets better, it's ignored. And that that's how people think autoimmune disease is not incurable. However, we are changing that right now. A lot of doctors' advice comes from lack of information and fear. So people are very angry at physicians because physicians don't know much about nutrition for reversing autoimmunity. That they don't know much about it. So most of the autoimmune protocol that you find online is not based on real results, but on theories. And they're outdated and don't work for everyone. So many doctors are negative and pessimistic. They say, take this medicine because diet doesn't do much. There's really no positivity or hope for people. And as you know, I just mentioned a current client, she's a nurse. She sees so many patients with autoimmune disease. And here is she herself, 40 days working with us. She's reversing her symptoms. So she's, she knows it's possible for you to become symptom-free 
and normalize your labs. So rheumatologists, I see in patients all day long, no one gets better. You have to wait months to see a doctor. And the reason for that, it, that it takes six months to get an appointment with them is because they're so busy. Their patients are not getting better. Many people get sick and none of them get better. So how many hours in the year are you spending time driving to see your doctor, sitting in the office, losing time from your work because you're sick and they give you medication which just doesn't address the root problem or your symptoms. So there are people suffering and dying even with the best medications. So yes, medicine can save your life, but it's not gonna give you health that you want. Some people are scared to get better because they're scared to change and they're scared to know that they actually can recover. So being sick becomes part of their identity. That's all that they used to. So if you have identity around your illness, it's very hard to change that. It's very hard to let go of that. And we can solve problems, but identities are very sick with us. So that's why the idea of becoming healthy actually scares people and scares a lot of doctors. And why is it scary? It's because anyone tells you to do something for disease reversal, you have to ask, you know, how many people did this doctor or this person actually healed in their program with auto, from autoimmunity? And that's how you know who do you listen to advice, especially nutritional advice when it comes to autoimmune recovery. Find the person that you know has the results that you want and stick to them. Makes sense. So that's why I want to talk about why people, doctors tell you that autoimmune diseases are not curable because to consider it a cure, you have to use medicine. So only if you use medicine to reverse your symptoms and your labs, that's the only time it can be considered a cure. But can you live your life symptom free and can you normalize your labs? Absolutely. And we see it with our clients. And one of our current clients, we posted her results in our program so far. Her arthritis is gone. Her Sjogren's symptoms are going away. She's getting more moisture back and she's a registered nurse. So she now understands science and she's getting better. So hi, Christina. Hi, Andrew. Good to see you. And that's what I wanted to talk about. People have a lot of fear. They don't know who to trust. So if you, you want to trust to somebody who has the results that you want. Okay. And let me know if you have any questions about that. So let me see if you have any questions here. So SJ asked about what, why would a person have cutaneous T cell issues? So there's a lot of triggers for any type of chronic diseases. So cutaneous T, basically it's a T cell issue. So it sounds like it, it is a, it's a cancer. So it's a chronic inflammation over time. And there's a lot of triggers for that. So to say, why would somebody have that? It's a really... There's no one answer for that because there's many triggers for any type of disease. It could be genetic trigger that occurred, could be something that made them build up inflammation over time that triggered their gene for this type of disease. So it's a, it basically it's a T cell lymphoma, so it's a cancer. So why people get cancer? It's chronic inflammation over time. They get gets triggered, which it could be a genetic factor, but it could be an environmental factor. Obviously, a lifestyle factor, chronic stress, poor diet choices, all of that can trigger your genes for disease and cause chronic inflammation when your body lacks the tools to be able to repair itself. And we did have a patient with um, Hodgkin's lymphoma work with us. Her prognosis improved in the program because we work on, you know, on actually giving your body the tools to repair itself and reverse the inflammation. So that's how we, we help people with chronic inflammatory conditions. Most of them are autoimmune that people come to us. So why do people have autoimmune disease? There's usually not one trigger. It's multiple triggers that causes them to develop it. People usually don't get sick in, um, people usually don't get sick over time. I mean, overnight, people get sick over time. So can we help with that? We haven't had a client with this type of cancer, this cutaneous T cell lymphoma go through our program yet. And we would love to see what actually happens when we work on the immune system and giving the body all the tools and nutrients it needs to repair itself. So we haven't had a person with this type of disease go through our program yet to tell you for sure whether or not or how soon 
person's prognosis will improve. So, yes, we can always try and see what we can do with the nutrition if, they, if that person is going through the medical treatment as well. But obviously, you have to you do for medical treatment. We recommend listening to medical advice. But when it comes to nutrition for disease reversal, we we can help with that. So Linian asked, "Food is ninety percent isn't the trigger is the trigger for the disease?" So yes, a lot of people, even with my immunology professor, there's a lot of triggers for any type of diseases. There's environmental triggers, there's dietary triggers, lifestyle triggers. There is genetic triggers, but genetics is only 5 to 10% of all the chronic diseases that people deal with nowadays. But the good thing, we can untrigger your genetics. And that's what we see with our clients. People who have been sick for 20, 30 years, your genes can untrigger, their symptoms get better, their symptoms go away, and labs normalize, regardless how long they've been sick. So these are all great questions. So that's why the question is, can you feel great and normalize your labs? So yes, you can you can do that and you help people. We had a patient who was 70 years old with rheumatoid arthritis, illegal arthritis, type 2 diabetes. His type 2 diabetes went away. He was able to lower his need for steroid medications. And then by February, he got off all his steroids. So he became symptom-free despite having rheumatoid arthritis for decades. So people can get bad. It all depends. What is it you're doing to support your body's ability to heal itself? And of course, with autoimmune disease, chronic inflammation over time can create a scar. So people who have 5% kidney function due to lupus nephritis, they might not be able to get 100% kidney function, but we can help them get to 30%. We've had clients with 5% in a program kidney function, and we were able to get them to 15% in 30 days of us working together. So it depends how much scars you actually have on your body, because chronic inflammation eventually, it will create that tissue on the organ, that's something you cannot repair, scarring, but the inflammation goes away, and that's where we help you address the inflammation, completely reverse it, and then giving your body all the tools that it needs to be able to get to optimal health. And how soon that happens for each person depends on how long that you've been sick, what you've done prior to working with us, and anything else that that's slowing down or preventing your recovery. But we help you problem solve and accelerate your rate of recovery to get you there as soon as possible. Great questions. It was great seeing everyone. Let me know if you have any questions for me. And they, like I mentioned, we do have two openings in our program. Two of our clients have finished working with us. Great results in 40 days. So we teach you what you have to do to optimize your immune system, to start reversing your disease. So we personalize your recovery based on what you that you're dealing with. I experienced helping people with that. And then we guide you through your recovery every single day over the course of 40 days and teach you and educate you everything that you need to know and make adjustments in your plan as, we, as you go through this process. So and that's why we're only able to work with a small amount of clients because it's daily work, including weekends, that will help you through your recovery. Doctors don't invest that much time with their patients usually. So we invest minimum 40 hours with each patient as you go through the process. And then based on the results, we teach you what you have to do to maintain your health or to continue your recovery until you achieve optimal health. And that's what we do with people on one-on-one. And then we do have opening right now in, in the program if you're looking to get personal help with us. And if you need more you know, information, send us a message. Christina asked, I didn't work for one and a half years. Is it one, one and a half years? And ended up with neuropathy. Uh, can that be helped? So inflammatory neuropathies go away in that program. If, the, if, if you have neuropathy due to inflammation, that's going to improve and go away. One of our clients, he had a neuropathy because he was playing soccer and he hit his leg. And that basically killed his nerve. So it, if you have, because it, um, it was physical neuropathy. So if it's because of that type of physical damage, that cannot go away, but if it's inflammation that's causing you to have the neuropathy, then that's going to improve in the program because we address all the you know, inflammatory neuropathies. But if it's a neuropathy due to injury, that may not go away. Makes sense if you have if you already have a nerve that's damaged due to injury, but the inflammation go, will go away in the program and it's going to improve your symptoms. 
Yes, because so Christine, I believe we had a conversation on Messenger. Send me a message. Give me more information about that, or at least remind me what is that you're dealing with that. Why you you weren't you weren't able to work for one and a half years? What caused you to have not being able to walk? Oh, due to lupus. Yes, so due to lupus. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. Lupus is inflammatory. So we address the inflammation, and then we'll, we'll see how much how much you can actually recover. So it's the only neuropathies we haven't seen improve. It was due to injury, but the inflammation goes away. And, and lupus is inflammatory autoimmune, as you know, and that's what we're going to help you address. So you can get, we can help you get to your optimal health when you do everything that you need to do for your healing. Definitely reach out to us. We'd love to help you and guide you through your recovery. I'm not sure if we had a call yet, but that would be the next step. Send us a message. Let's set up one-on-one -on -one call, get more information about your situation, and then we'll map out a recovery plan for you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we had really good results with lupus. A lot of our clients' symptoms went away, and then we had somebody with skin lupus work with us. We had clients with lupus nephritis work with us. So we have had really good results helping people reverse lupus and the symptoms, get you there at the rapid rate so you can you can get your health back. Okay, great. So it was great seeing everyone. Thanks for tuning in. We, we're going to do another live video next weekend. Let us know what time works best for you. Hi, D Dilara. Good to see you. So nice to see you, Dilara. Hope you're doing well. And then... Uh, Good to see you guys. Let us know what you would like us to talk about. And then uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.